Hey guys, we're going to be going to a Lord of the Sewers Clear again for a more budget run. Um, we're going to Lord of the Sewers EXT, we're going to do it in two turns for all missions, and we're going to be taking this team. We're going to be taking the free um, uh, Reno and Rude we just got from the Mog event, and we're going to be taking the free Aerith we just got from Login Rewards. Uh, this is the team, so we're going to be using Kenny Crow as our... Um, um, we don't need him specifically. We're just taking him mostly because he, we need someone to summon Carbuncle twice in a row. And Kenny Crow is just a good good person. We're going to be using him with full evasion. And he's got um, some Esper Fill gear. He's going to just evoke Carbuncle every turn. Turn one and turn two. Um, Sylvie is going to amplify Holy. She's going to imperil Holy. She's going to break the boss's attack. And she's going to buff Aerith's spirit. And she's got a little bit of Esper fill gear. We need the Esper gauge to be filled twice in a row on turn one and two. So that's going to be a little important. Um, we also gave her some defense so she survives. Uh, the boss does very low damage if you break him, and we're going to break him. We're bringing Archmage Kefka completely naked. He's going to do a Beast Killer buff and then die. Thank you, Kefka. You're going to do your purpose. Um, Reno and Rude, we're going to start them in the shift form. They're going to be a tag chainer. You can bring literally any tag chainer you want. Reno and Rude were given for free, so we're going to go ahead and take them. A um, little bit of Esper fill, a little bit of auto buffing, a little bit of defense. There we go. And then we're going to be taking Decetra Descendant Aerith. Um, now, mine is only EX0. I didn't pull. I'm doing it on day one, so I don't have EX1 yet. That's all you need. Um, make sure you door pot her spirit and her MP. Um, make sure she's using her TMR or her STMR. We're using the TMR here. Um, gear her for as much Beast Killer as you can. We're using um, Universe Eater, Beast Killer Plus, and she's on Bayment with Beast Killer, Magical Beast Killer Learn. It's Magical Beast Killer. Um, and then give her as much uh, Spirit and MP as you can so she can carry the fight. Now mine is geared, I guess, like kind of, sort of well. Um, we are using Staff of Ripples for a lot of MP as well as Spirit. And then Spring Basket because of the Guardian Visor. This gives Spirit and Equip Light Shield. Uh, now keep in mind, if you're using Imperils, you don't want to use a shield. But mine is only EX0. I don't have the EX2 Rod Imperil yet. Once I do, I'll be using things like um, I'll be using the best Spirit Rod, which is um, the Seventh Nirvana. But that's that's an EX2 that comes in two weeks. For now, no, we're not using a Weapon Imperil, so we're going for just a, a Staff build. Uh, but anyway, as much MP as you can. Now, this is geared pretty well, so this is like, you know, stretching it to call it a budget run. But, I mean, it's not like that good. One STMR, two... Okay, there's a lot of STMRs here, to be fair. There really is. But it should be fine. Let's go ahead and get a two-turn clear in using just a well-geared free EX0 era. Okay, so we're going to use Sylvie on turn one to triple cast. Make sure she's using her TMR so she can triple cast on turn one. Um, the Esper Gauge is auto-filled from the, the gear. Let's triple the fun. Let's do the Magnus on Aerith. Let's do Hop to the Rescue on Aerith. This is a big spirit buff and the big attack break at the same time on Aerith. And then we're going to do Glitter Egg to um, imperil the boss to Holy. All right, Archmage Kefka in the shift form is going to do Warring Triad Goddess on Kefka on Aerith. He's probably going to die here because we didn't, he's naked, but he did his purpose. That's a, that's a magical beast killer for Aerith. If you don't have Kefka EX1, you can use um, Ling or Rain and Fina for a beast killer buff. And then Kenny Crow is going to summon Carbuncle for the AOE Reflect. We're going to use Tag. We're going to quadruple Tag Chain. Doesn't really matter which one on Reno and Rude. And Aerith is going to cast Holy. Okay, so we're going to target our own team member with Holy. We're going to bounce that with Reflect, single cast. And this is a plus two Holy, by the way. And then we're going to, when the Holy starts dropping from the ceiling, we're going to send our quad casting tag chainer. So we wait, we wait, we wait, send it. And this should cap the chain. Okay, we did 71% 70, on turn one. So we, you, don't, you don't even need to be geared this super well. So as expected, our naked Kefka, you know, you know, took one for the team. We could have geared him up. He would have survived here very easily. But, you know, whatever. Okay, so Aerith is out of mana, basically. We're going to drop an elixir on her with Sylvie. There we go. Back to full mana. We're going to summon Carbuncle again, and we're going to reload. 
Okay, so we're going to target our own team. Let's go ahead and bounce reflect back and we wait, 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 wait. Tag chain. And there goes a turn two victory on Abzu. And at this point, I've done two clears high end and I've done the budget run. So there we go. Let's go ahead and accept this and finally claim our rewards. So all you really need is to bounce a enhanced plus two holy onto the boss with reflect. So the only thing tricky there is gearing up Aerith a little bit. Um, but yeah, she carries that fight so hard. Uh, so Beast Killer. Some options for Beast Killer, like I said, are Rain and Fina. Um, or White Dragon Ling. Both can do Beast Killer on turn one. Uh, for your for your magical magical Beast Killer. That, that is important. Magical Beast Killer. And then uh, everybody has Sylvie. Kenny Crow can be literally anyone to summon Carbuncle. Reno and Rude were given for free from the current event. And everyone has Aerith. So yeah, so gear Aerith in as much MP, Spirit, and Beast Killer as you can. And remember, if you're using Weapon and Perils, do not use a shield. But if you're not using Weapon and Perils, shields are fine. So there's all the missions. Uh, so I got myself a rainbow ticket. We're going to pop that real quick while we're in the video. Because why not? And we'll see what we get. Alright, let's have this come down red and give me Envy Aerith. Make me real happy it did not come down red. Okay. Well, we got a high. That's a pretty much a dud. Okay, so there's the budget run. I will see you guys next time.